Welcome everyone to Houston News. Today is March 10, 2019. This is the home of the two minute price prediction as well as giving you all the news according to the charts. Well, we're going to talk about this article right here on the left side of your screen uh, from the Investors Business Daily trying to tell us that there are five growth stocks that show strength amid a pullback. OK, so we're going to look at these five stocks that this individual, David, has place on this article to make sure that if they are in fact growth stocks that are holding their strength now what he means by growth stocks is that these stocks literally have just been uh, trading on the stock exchange there they don't have a lot of price history uh, relating to it which is why he's considering them as a growth stock so he's trying to state that just by the name alone growth that this boutique these five stocks has a lot of potential to continue to move to the upside well if you guys been watching our videos on a continual basis we continue to show you all that the price chart has to correlate with what the article is trying to state because if it doesn't then the article is simply a persuasion type vehicle to try to persuade individuals such as you and I to place some of our funds into these type of instruments okay so that's why we're here to dissect this article to look at these stocks that he is uh, recommending that needs to be seen as growth stocks and we're going to go ahead and do that today so if this is your first time watching this video and you do appreciate how easy it is to get your price predictions and understanding what the price market is going to do go ahead and subscribe to this channel hit that bell notification button too so you all become notified when we upload this these type of videos also if you like the video itself go ahead and share it like the video and make sure that you keep it in your playlist so you all can continue to watch these videos to make sure that the price chart what we're giving you all is indeed accurate okay so now let's go ahead and get started in that analysis for today now the title of the article from investors business daily reads Five day slump caused 774 points for the Dow Jones, but these five growth stocks show strength amid a pullback. Okay, so I'm not going to go into the article too much. Uh, we just simply focus on price charts because that is where the news has the truest ability to tell you what it's going to do in the future. Uh, John Lynch, he's a chief investment strategist for LPL Financial, pointed out that the February U.S. payrolls report gave investors a reason to view the new data from a glasses have full angle for starters the february report of just 20,000 net new jobs added got impacted by the fact that early 390,000 non-agricultural employees were unable to work due to weather conditions plus payroll gains in january saw an upward revision to a net jobs increase of 311,000 February average hourly wages rose 3.4% versus a year ago. While payroll growth has slowed, job gains over the past few months have been unexpectedly strong. Labor market strength remains a bright spot in the U.S. economy and wages are growing at a healthy pace. This is what he wrote, Lynch wrote in a note to his clients. So all of that being said, they're trying to give you the backdrop of why the Dow dropped 774 points okay so this is the history behind that uh movement that we've seen last week for the dow jones so they got to build a case uh trying to show us these five growth stocks right here now this is what david is trying to tell us are these potential growth stocks that are still showing strength while the dow jones continue to move to the downside and you can see right here he has stone company planet fitness Fortinet, Zscaler, and ZTO Express. All of these are showing relative strength or the potential to lead the stock market higher when the pullback ends. Okay, so he has already built his preference uh, as to what he sees that these five stocks are still giving us relative strength or the potential to lead the stock market higher when the pullback ends. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look at these five stocks. First one up is going to be Stone Company. Okay, now as you can tell, that there's not a lot of price history from a monthly standpoint for Stone Company. And as you can tell here, the current month that we're in, 
Stone Company definitely has already came to the top of the market, made all-time highs ever since it's been listed on the stock exchange from October 1st, 2018. We already made all-time high right up there around $34.50. And what we're seeing here on the monthly price chart is definitely insinuating some weakness in the space. Okay, now as you go into these price charts today, keep in mind that this article is telling us that the pullback has to end in order for these stocks to continue to show a strength. Okay, so he kind of plugs in that yes, I'm telling you all that these five stocks could have some weakness in it and that they can continue to move to the downside. And right now, Looking at the first stock, there's definitely weakness in the market. So timing is very important. You want to make sure that you try to get into these stocks uh, when it hits the bottom or wherever support is going to be. Looking at it on the weekly time frame, uh, you can see right here that even the last week, the market for Stone Company continues to show us that there's a lot of weakness in this space. We need to determine where support is going to be for the stock. Weekly price chart is showing us weakness as well. Uh, looking at it on the daily time frame and you can tell here that the market found some support around $28 okay so yesterday I'm sorry Friday was a very positive day for Stone Company uh, actually ended up 3.07 percent but if you notice Stone Company only came up there towards this previous area of support when it first got listed on the exchange right there around $30 okay so all eyes still needs to be in the market for Stone Company to determine whether or not there's actually some strength coming in this particular space. OK, so uh, right now, the market is still giving us weakness more than it is strength for Stone Company. Uh, definitely want to sit on the sidelines to see whether or not the strength is still being maintained in this stock before we will actually state that it is a buy opportunity or that this stock is really showing strength amongst the pullback because it looks as if it is doing the same thing that the Dow Jones has been doing when we fell down last week and that has been to the downside so uh, right now the price chart is not correlating with what this article is trying to insinuate I would definitely say that this particular stock has to be uh, watched a little bit longer $28 can be support we can be in the initial stages of this particular stock trying to hold support at $28 it just takes a little bit more uh, ability to see these price bars hold that support area in order for us to really determine if the market is really that strong so right now uh, just stay on the sidelines we had to say that consolidation for the most part is in store for stone company I don't like the weekly chart It's definitely continue to show us that we have some weakness still present in this particular stock okay and the monthly bar as well shows us the same depiction now let's go ahead and look at the next one which is going to be planet fitness now this particular stock uh, definitely is a different story uh, it is a very new stock as well it has been in a uptrend ever since april 2017 Planet fitness continues to show us that there's no weakness really coming into the market even in this current month uh, Planet Fitness continues to show us that it is making all-time highs in the space and at the conclusion of this monthly chart this monthly price bar uh, if we in fact close towards high bar then the strength is still coming in this particular stock too okay so strength is being seen on a monthly time frame the weekly time frame as well is still being reflective okay we just got finished with earnings here on the 26th of February 2019 and it shows us that the strength and interest of higher prices is still there there's nothing in the background of this chart for us to determine whether or not we will hit some resistance so that is the only thing that you need to keep in mind uh, for Planet Fitness is how quick the market will get induced with some stockpile and push this particular price down so uh, strength is here for Planet Fitness I don't see any weakness coming in the only thing that you can gauge is how high the market will move before it will fall back down okay so uh, looking here on the daily time frame uh, the market is not making a lot of progression over the last three days from last week that is a little concern uh, you might want to be thinking about that because you want to ask yourself the question why is not Planet Fitness moving to the upside for the last three days so we can be actually seeing the beginning portion of this stock moving lower in price Keep that in mind as we trade out this coming week.
in the markets but right now uh, strength is still here the only concern for me would be uh, we cannot determine how high the market can go before we see some resistance or stockpile come into the market so uh, this stock is continuing to show its strength amongst the pullback from the Dow Jones so that is very accurate uh, from what the price chart is relating to us and the article so now let's go ahead and look at 40 nets now this particular stock uh, has a little bit more price history than some of the other ones that was named in the article uh, right now you can tell that the monthly time frame is not a positive thing for 40 net uh, this is not showing us any strength amongst the pullback it is actually doing the same thing that the Dow Jones is doing as well and the only concern I have for this particular stock is that we need to find out where support lies uh, for it and it has to be around $76 $72 ultimately it cannot break below $64 uh, in the long term in order for us to really maintain the ability of us to continue to move higher at a later date okay but weakness definitely is coming in this space for 40 net uh, you guys can see that they just had earnings on the 6th of February 2019 and the market definitely moved to the upside only to get rejected at $87.50 so we are definitely still seeing weakness coming to the market in 40 net this is not an opportunity to try to see if this is showing us strength because the price chart clearly shows us that there is no strength coming to the market for 40 net and I'm still expecting this stock to continue to move to the downside there's a slight probability that it can hold 77.50 but ultimately I still see it moving to the downside it's a pretty good support area around $72.50 so that's why I just got these lines placed on this price chart because this is where we're anticipating the market in 40 net to try to find support but overall this stock is not showing strength it does not correlate with what the article is trying to insinuate so now let's go ahead and look at Zscaler uh, this particular stock is on a bullish trend to the upside right now very positive to see that matter of fact we actually got a gap going on in between on the monthly time frame from February and March now you can see that it just got done with releasing its earnings on the 28th of February 2019 uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it on the weekly chart and as you can tell that the market from a weekly standpoint was not able to capitalize on the major strength that it saw on the 25th of February 2019 now that is cause for concern I definitely want to see why the market could not capitalize on the previous week and you can see right here last week the market for Zscaler just consolidated there hasn't been a lot of price action that continue to show us the strength in this space as a matter of fact last week this whole stock got hit with a lot of stockpile I can tell you though that the market definitely uh, was willing to absorb all of the selling that came into the market so that's a positive thing to see uh, as well to continue to show us that strength is still being maintained in the market for Z Skeleton now just keep your eyes open on that $61 price looking at it on the three hour bars you can tell that the market couldn't break above that $61 price now if we're able to close above $61 then this particular stock is going to continue to make all-time highs in the space uh, as of right now the stock strength is being maintained I'm still expecting it to move to the upside okay but just keep your eyes open on that $61 price because it is resistance and it can actually push this price back down to the downside so that's the only thing that I would tell you all to be on the lookout for is that $61 price if we see it close above $61 then that stock is still maintaining its strength and it will make all-time high so that's why we're still expecting this stock to move to the upside so now go ahead and look at the last one which is ZTO uh, the market for ZTO uh, for the current month is getting hit with a lot of sellers just like it did during the months of June, July, and August of 2018. We're coming right back to that previous area of where it got hit with a lot of sellers. Uh, looking at it on the weekly time frame, uh, last week we did get in fact a lot of sell positions going out the market and that's why I went ahead and identified this $19.50 price as support as well as this ascension line. These are the two crucial price levels 
that ZTO cannot break below in order for it to at least maintain its ability to move to the upside. Okay, but I can definitely tell you that weakness is coming in this particular stock right now. Uh, the market over the last week definitely saw a lot of weakness coming in this particular space. We came around that $19.60 price down to $19.40 uh, for support. So we are maintaining some consolidation of trading in the near term. But overall, the strength is not as strong as it is with Planet Fitness or Z Zscaler. Uh, definitely want to see how this week pans out for this particular stock because you can tell here that it is coming out with its earnings on the 12th of March, okay, which is this week. So keep that open. Uh, as we see this particular stock trade because we could see another dump in this particular stock especially if the earnings is negative okay so uh, right now the market is showing us indications of market weakness I would not expect this stock to move to the upside uh, definitely want to see how it trades after the earnings release because if we're able to hold the support area or even this ascension line then all that was done this previous week was just a consolidation of trade range we can't resume back up to higher prices okay but the current move in zto is one of weakness i will be expecting this stock to continue to move to the downside uh, or at best hold this consolidation of trading range so uh, this article listed five stocks that it anticipated was still showing strength and that it was holding quite well amongst the pullback from last week out of those five stocks uh, definitely planet fitness is one that is holding its strength looking here at stone company it is not holding its strength as much as planet fitness looking at fortnite i mean 40 net you all can see that 40 net is weak so this one is definitely not holding its strength as of this particular moment uh, z scaler is holding its strength and zto is not holding its strength as much as planet fitness or z so out of the five, I would say the first one that is holding the strength the best is Planet Fitness. Z Scaler will be second. Uh, Stone Company will be third. ZTO will be fourth. And 40 Net will be last. So there you go. Very quick analysis to see whether or not these five stocks are upholding the strength. Uh, we have given you our perspective of what they are, which ones are definitely holding the strength and which ones are not. So from it's a mixed perspective from the article to the to the price charts. Some of it is actually correlating with the price chart. Others are not. So we definitely got to keep that in mind as you continue to look at these price charts for these companies that these analysts or these authors are insinuating about. OK, so again, if you guys appreciate this video, make sure that you all go ahead and subscribe like and share the video as well if you want like to have more information go ahead and go to our hughfinancial.com website the link will be in the description of this video as well we got more information uh, more news pertaining to stocks cryptocurrencies commodities even forex as well make sure you all maintain your profitability and i will talk to you all later